The patient here is positioned supine with the head turned opposite from the block site. Scanning begins with the transducer oriented transverse on the neck and superior to the clavicle at the midpoint. This view you may recognize is similar to the scan for the supraclavicular block. The probe is slowly translated cephalad to identify the anterior and middle scalene muscles with the brachial plexus located in between. The sternocleidomastoid muscle and prevertebral fascia are visualized superficial to the brachial plexus. The nerve roots of the brachial plexus are visualized between the anterior and middle scalene muscles. Here we see the C5 nerve root, a split C6 nerve root, and a split C7 nerve root. The structures are commonly described as a traffic light sign within the interscalene groove. The phrenic nerve is located anteriorly to the anterior scalene muscle. The vertebral artery can also be identified. The neck is highly vascular and colored Doppler imaging is often helpful to avoid vessels. The needle tip should be directed from lateral to medial in between the nerve roots to avoid accidental nerve root injury. A subtle pop is elicited as the needle passes through the prevertebral fascia.